What's going on, everybody? I've got something I'd like to share with you all. Swoons in the bar. Back on September 29th through October 13th, Nate from the Cue It Up podcast, who I've also had on the channel to do some pool coaching lesson videos with me, held an awesome online 10 ball ghost tournament that got almost 32 players involved, including some of our professionals out there like Margaret Fefalova, Alex Kazakis, Kelly Fisher, Albin Ocean, Fedor Gorst, and Tyler Steyer, just to name a few. What's in the box? The tournament was held internationally where the players could play in their local pool hall or even using their own home table. It was such an amazing event to watch, and I even got to participate sometimes by doing some commentary. But it was also really awesome to be able to see our professionals play pool again. And when it was all said and done, Albin Ocean was the tournament champion, winning himself $5,500. What's in the box? Now, if you happen to miss the tournament, don't worry. I'll provide a link in the description below to the Cue It Up podcast channel for every day of the tournament. Now, also on every day of the tournament, there were prizes that were raffled off for the viewers to win. To enter into the raffle, you had to make a donation to the tournament and all donations were given back to the players that were unable to place in the tournament to help pay back their $500 entry fee. For every $5 donation bought you a ticket into the raffle and there were even donation incentives to where if you donated $25, you get five tickets entered into the raffle plus a free Cue It Up podcast patch. If you donated $50, you get 10 tickets entered into the raffle plus a free tube of Predator Chalk. And then if you donated $100, you get 20 tickets entered into the raffle and a free Poison Billiard Glove. And as you can see here, I entered in a couple of those raffles and I won a couple of them. So let's see what I got. So let's start with this guy right here. So here's one of the free poison billiard gloves, which should tell you that I made a hundred dollar donation for this one. And let's see here. Ah, this was the prize that was raffled on the first day of the tournament. Let me get this bad boy out of here. This is the Jacoby HB7 custom Q here. I believe this thing is retail valued at $1,450. So I made off with a huge return on investment. And just look at the colors and the inlays and the points. This thing is beautiful. And it comes with a 12 and 3 quarter millimeter Ultra Pro shaft. And I requested that they put a Zan medium tip on it. Now, I'm not entirely sure how much it weighs. I'll go ahead and weigh it after I'm done recording here and I'll pop it up on the video here for y'all to see. But mainly, I'm pretty sure all of y'all are wondering, what am I gonna do with this? Well, I'm keeping this guy because this cue is beautiful. I'm just gonna add it to my collection here that I have and maybe every once in a while, you'll actually be able to see it in a video. But I mean, look at this thing. It is just beautiful. And I've never hit with a Zan tip before. So I'm really curious to see how this thing might feel. And now let's see what's in this other box. What's in the box? So we've got another poison billiard glove. Here's the cue it up podcast patch that I was talking about.
and we've got two tubes of Predator chalk. I can always use these because I love the Predator chalk. Oh, and here we have a how medium tip. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. I haven't really heard much about these, but I am probably going to put it on my Sean because that cue is about due for a new tip. So maybe I'll make another tip replacement video because I haven't done one of those in quite some time. And what else is in here? Oh, they really wrapped, wrapped this guy up. Well, this is something by Poison. Oh, okay. This is the Poison Jump Break Cue that was raffled off on day three. But this wasn't the only cue that was raffled. It was raffled with, I think, two or three other Poison Jump Break Cues and I think there was a Go Custom jump brake cue. And if memory serves correctly, there was only three of them in existence. One that was raffled off and the other two are in the hands of professionals. So I made a significant amount of a donation so that I can try to win that jump brake cue, but I was just lucky enough to win this. So when I saw the demonstration of this cue, the one thing that I happened to really like was not only is it just your typical jump brake cue where you can break it into three pieces. So here you can break the butt end off of the cue or the wrap end of the cue off so that way you can do a jump shot. But this pin here can also go into the shaft in case you need to make a longer jump shot. And this is something I've actually never seen before, which is actually pretty cool because you can see the difference in length to where if you wanted to make a high jump shot, you would just want to use this end. But if you want to make a long jump shot, then you would use this end. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, what am I going to be doing with this thing? Well, I am going to give this away on my channel, but if you recall, my next milestone for a giveaway is 75,000 subscribers. And I'm currently sitting at around 59,000 subscribers, so I've got a quite a ways to go before I do my next giveaway. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, feel free to share them around and help me acquire some more subscribers. So that way I can give this cue away to somebody. Because on top of that, I'll most likely throw in one of the poison billiard gloves and I'll even throw in a tube of predator chalk and most likely I'll end up getting some sort of two by two case to go along with this just in case if you happen to have another cue. And that's going to do it for today's video. Now I'd like to give a huge shout out to Nate from the Cue It Up podcast as well as a huge thank you for putting together such an amazing online tournament and giving us viewers a chance to win such amazing stuff which is the main reason why I'm making this video. Because if you're not subscribed to the Cue It Up podcast YouTube channel or following the Cue It Up Facebook page, then head on over there right now and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe because I know more events like this are coming in the future, which means more amazing stuff can possibly be won. So if you like what you saw, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care, everybody.